What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why I do not use Actionetics when it comes to email marketing. And I'm also going to show you what I believe is the best uh, email um, automation service when it comes to your campaigns and also when it comes to your funnels. But before we get into that, definitely subscribe, hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. Check me out on Instagram at JelaniTheMarketer and check out my blog, blog.JelaniTheMarketer.com. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I post videos talking about different things, and one thing that I got uh, an email from was uh, I posted a video talking about Active Campaign, and I got an email. They're like, "Oh, I'm really surprised that you do not use Actionetics when it comes to your email marketing," um, and there's a good reason for that, and the reason is I believe that Actionetics is not the best um, email software, and the reason for that is because it's it's for lack of better words, uh, it's buggy. Uh, and by buggy, I mean that there are certain situations that happen throughout uh, your campaigns that I've seen personally uh, from working with other clients, from working actually at ClickFunnels. Um, I just believe that it's not at the point where I am ready to invest my uh, my email list into. Okay, now that doesn't say that that's not to mean that it doesn't work completely. People use it obviously; they're offering it as a service. But for me personally, I believe that Active Campaign is the best when it comes to email automations and email services. Um, and the reason for that is because I've been using it personally this is my opinion so you know you guys can either take it and you know test it out for yourself or continue to use actionetics kind of do what you want but from my personal experience i've been with active campaign for about maybe two years now and i have not had one single hiccup when it came to my integrations on click funnels and also when it came to my email automations and that's why i believe it's the best because i haven't had any hiccups i haven't had any issues with uh sending affiliate links i haven't had any issues with people getting my emails uh, into their inbox and the reason for that I believe is because I don't want I don't spam people and two I'm giving a lot of value when it comes to my email so that could just be the the, the idea here is like you want to give value and you want to make sure you're, you're giving um, valuable information when it comes to your emails but for me it just works really flawlessly and I haven't had any problems so I believe that people who want to get into email marketing and want to use that want to use email marketing with their funnels you should be using active campaign because of my personal experiences um, and when it comes to uh, email marketing I haven't had any issues with it so if you want to get active campaign all you have to do is click the link down below um, but in this video what I want to show you quickly is what you need to do to actually get it integrated with your ClickFunnels account um, and also what you need to do to actually start uh, collecting email addresses when it comes to your funnels. So it's really simple. All you need to do is sign up. Like I said, click the link down below so that you can get access. All you need to do is go into your settings area um, and you just need to go to the developer tab here on the left hand side. Once you have done that, all you need to do is go into your ClickFunnels account, uh, assuming that you have one. If you don't have one, there should be a link to sign up for ClickFunnels as well. Um, but all you need to do is you need to go into your integrations uh, and once you're at your integrations all you need to do is click on add new integration very very simple so just click add new integration and then select active campaign from the available integrations of, uh, in, the, in the list um, and then all you have to do is give your integration a name so let's just say AC test right and then the API key you just come back into your uh, active campaign account and you just grab the uh, URL here just copy that and you want to put it in the second box this is reverse so this is something you need to uh, make sure you note. the API key and the API URL is reversed when it comes to click funnels you can see here that URL is first but in click funnels the URL uh, area is second okay so keep that in mind and then you want to make sure you're grabbing the key and then you just put the key here and that's it just click add integration and that will connect the two once you have done that you can go into your funnel funnels area um, and then you can go to uh, I'm just going to go to one of my test funnels uh, and we're just going to go to collect email test funnel and once you have selected the funnel that you want all you have to do is go into the edit page area um, and then from the integrations drop down up here where it says settings integrations just select the integration type which is going to be active campaign since we already integrated it go to add to list and then we want to uh, select the list we want to add add them to. So if you want to make sure your list is added, just click refresh list from API. So you want to make sure you're adding a list. So to do that, all you have to do is go into Active Campaign um, and just click Add New List, and then give it a name, give it the URL that the list is going to be associated with, and then just give some description why this person is seeing 
uh, or why they're being added to the particular list and just click add once you have done that you just want to refresh the list from api and then your list should be shown okay now you're probably thinking how do i start automation jelani i'm not sure so i'm going to give you a quick little rundown i actually have an advanced video on how this is done but what i do personally to set my automations up is I add them to a list first and then I add a tag to that particular person and then the tag is what actually starts the automation okay so to do that all you need to do is make sure you have a list once you have that list set up you just want to go to your automations area um, and if you want to see the more advanced video just click the link down below there should be a link that will allow you to see that more advanced video but I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown so you just want to click create new automation you want to start from scratch click continue um, and then once you have done that what you want to do is start uh, a trigger so the trigger is going to be based on when that person subscribes to a list so they're going to get subscribed to the list once they fill out their information here and once this is integrated so you want to make sure that you are adding people to the list select the list that you want to add them to and make sure it says connected here like it says here all right so you want to select the subscribes to a list uh action and uh or trigger inside of active campaign click continue and then from here you want to select the list that you just created okay so let's just say that we just created a list we'll set we'll set that up and we'll click add start okay and then from here you want to go to conditions and workflow sorry you want to go to contacts and then you want to click on add a tag okay so you're just going to give this person a particular tag so you could just say something like joined uh, list. This is obviously just a, a test, right? Um, so you want to make sure that you actually are adding a tag that you know you're actually going to use. Click on save, and that's all you have to do. Make sure you click on activate and give it a name. So we're just going to say testing one, two, three. Click on save. Now we're not done. What we need to do at this point is go back into our automations and click on add new automation. We're going to create another automation. So we're going to start this automation from scratch again. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to start the trigger based on when a tag is added. So we're going to click on tag is added. And we're just going to uh, join list. I believe what it was called, right? What we just set up. So we're going to click on add start. And then from here we can send an email. And we can create the email after that tag is added, right? So we just say test one, two, three. Um, and then that's it. That's all we need to do at that point. Just make sure you select. We'll just use this template really quickly. This is not going to go live. Um, so th that's the email, right? So you want to edit the emails, you know, put in your stuff and then we'll just save and exit that. And then once you have done that, you want to give your automation a name and then you want to click on activate and that's it. That's all you have to do. And then if you want to continue this automation sequence, all you need to do is do wait one day or wait for 15 days, whatever the amount of time you want them to wait. You can also do wait for um, hours, days, whatever. So I'll say wait for one day and then we can send another email by going to sending well, clicking this plus icon first and then sending an email uh, from the drop down and then we can create a new email and then you can just create the automation that way That's pretty much all you need to do. It's very simple very fluid It doesn't have any issues when you do it this way I, Like I said, I haven't had one hiccup So all you have to do guys to get access to active campaigns to so start using it today with your click funnels account is just click the link down below um, And you can get access you can start using it because I believe it's the best when it comes to and it beats everything else in my opinion because I haven't had any issues with it. So uh, click the link down below to get access. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any other comments or suggestions, leave those down below. Uh, check out my Instagram at July the Marketer. Uh, check out my blog, blog.julyandthemarketer.com. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the little alert button so you know when I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.